Diary. Hello, it's December 2023. I'm here to convince you that the Acer Aspire A517 52G, which is the laptop you are looking at, is worthy of your consideration if you are looking for a pretty fast laptop with a large 17 inch screen, uh, an Intel uh, multi core processor, and loads of upgradability. So I thought I'd start off with a bias screen just to show you that this is what I've got. It's uh, uh, an Acer machine. We've got eight gigs of memory here. We've, it comes with a, a Micron drive. This is uh, actually for sale, but this is, this is uh, not a sales advert, but I'm just gonna tell you why this is such a great machine, even if you don't wanna get it from me. Let's just go into the other menu so you can see the full BIOS menu. Okay. <clears throat> We've got obvious things like wake on LAN. We've got fast and slow boot. We've got display language. Uh, we've got the Intel VTX and VTD to enable uh, my, um, virtualization. And um, we've got usual security settings here, which can protect you against uh, someone getting into your laptop. So basically you've got the usual kind of settings. Okay, let's uh, continue by booting the machine. So this is a fully capable Windows 11 system. So it's got the right security chips in, in, the, in the BIOS. And of course, it's also got a fingerprint reader here. So Okay, we've booted Mr. Laptop. I thought I'd just show you a few little things as to why I'm so impressed with what you get for this uh, laptop. Again, this is the Acer Aspire laptop. It's a 17 inch variety. Um, we have got in no particular order a pretty decent graphics card in this machine. So I've st started Windows systems information. You see, we've got Intel uh, XE graphics. We've also got an NVIDIA Geoforce MX350. Again, this is a laptop with an integrated NVIDIA card. So let's close that bad boy down. Uh, on the uh, task manager, you'll see we've got the, the GPUs listed here and here. Um, You'll see that in terms of systems information, we've got an 11th generation i5, uh, which starts at 2.4 gigahertz. I believe it can go to over four. We've got eight gigabytes of memory installed. That's four gigabytes on the motherboard and four gigabytes on a removable uh, SO DIMM. So I believe you can at least put 16 gigabytes in there. So you'd have 16 plus four. That's my understanding at least. Uh, this is running Windows 11 Home. It's fully Windows 11 compatible, so it's got all the necessary security chips on the motherboard, so you can have Windows 11. If this was my machine, I'd probably uh, make it a developer machine, and so I'd be able to get the 23H uh, upgrades already. Um, if we look at the actual firmware, you'll see there's the display adapters. There's the firmware of the machine. And again, this is the Acer Aspire A517-52G. If I look at the disk management, you'll see we have a one terabyte BitLocker encrypted NVMe drive. Now, the good thing about this laptop is inside, it's got so much real estate. They've actually got a separate SATA two and a half inch drive bay with a cable. Uh, so if you did want to upgrade to add a second additional disk, you could make that a standard SATA disk, or you could put a NVMe SATA drive into a caddy, for example, and use that in the uh, traditional two and a half inch SATA uh, base space. And also on this laptop, the PCI uh, networking adapter is socketed. So this is a fully upgradable 2023 laptop. It's the Acer Aspire, it's got onboard graphics, it's got a decent keyboard, uh, all things are well with this and um, I think the only thing it hasn't got, it has got a fingerprint reader by the way just here, I think the only thing it doesn't have which I would I would like to see would be a, a backlit keyboard um, but I think at this price point you're not gonna you're just not gonna get that. Oh did I mention ports? Did I mention ports? So hang on on this side we've got a full size Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet, full size HDMI two uh, USB 3 sockets and a USB uh, C 
socket. And on the right hand side, we have got a full size uh, USB type A socket, a microphone jack, uh, and a uh, on power button and a Kensington lock. So it is superbly equipped. Like I say, this, uh, this happens to be for sale, but um, yeah, I think if I was choosing a 17 inch laptop, um, and could and could bear not to have a um, a backlit screen. I think this is the, exactly the kind of laptop I'd be going for. By the way, it's got four cores and eight threads, which I think is 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 pretty much okay for for anyone not doing a serious amount of processing. Okay, Dari, that's it. That's the Acer Aspire, and I do recommend this. It's a pretty decent old laptop, and I think the list price is about ooh, eight hundred, uh, and ours is going for about half of that. Okay, that's enough of my advertisements. Have a look at the laptop anyway. I think it might suit you if you're a power user and want flexibility.